You're, You're listening, listening to Green Rapids. So, Eric, are you ready to do some introductions? I am. I'm so ready for this. <laughs> the other day I wasn't, and now I'm like, let's do this. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, my name's Nancy. And I am Erica. We are your hosts yeah. uh, and climate justice organizers. Um. <laughs> West Michigan has so many like environmental organizations. Yeah. And that's part of why we want to start this podcast and introduce you to some of these organizations. We'll introduce you to the organizations, the work they're doing, some of the city planning meetings that you can go to. Like last mm-hmm. night we went to a master planning meeting. And it's so great to be involved and to see so many people come out um, and really give their input. But are they not? I mean, not all of them, but a good portion of them are still organizers. Mm -hmm. And I think that's also something we want to make sure that we feature here is um, keeping you looped in as much as we can on when to show up to board meetings or, you know, when the school board meetings are happening Mm -hmm. or when commission meetings are happening or a good time for you to give input at um, a master planning or a reinvest YAR event, mm-hmm. um, whatever it may be. Um, I think that's important because I didn't really know about that stuff before I started working. I had no idea. Before. Yeah, like I had no idea I could just go up to like, you know, commissioner meetings and just like tell them what I want as a citizen. Like you that can was ask so questions. wild to me. Yeah. Um, And that's really, like, one of the most important things you can do. And just, like, let your representatives know, like, what's important to you and, like, what you're thinking about um, and what your priorities are. I think that is probably how we both got to this point. Yeah. It wasn't like I woke up one day and I was like, I'm going to save the planet. I mean, yes, some days I wake up like, I'm going to save the planet. (laughs) But I think we slowly started to get into this because Mm -hmm. we started to realize, like, one straw equals... Yeah, Eight million like straws. times like the city's population <laughs> totally. equals like millions of straws. And so although my my one straw is not going to save the planet, um, avoiding that on a daily basis can definitely make a large impact. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but let's say I do it, Erica does it, and you do it, yeah. then, you know, that and that spreads. It's just like who is in, the envir- in that environmental scene is what's kind of changing right now, I think. I mean, more people who look like us. But I just think the climate's kind of trending as well. And so a lot of work is being woven into it, climate-based, environmental-based. And uh, full transparency, I am not vegan or vegetarian. So I am part of the problem. But also, like, I'm a reducitarian, right? So I try to at least be more intentional. Reducitarian. Nancy, you heard that one? You, if you need a term, ask Nancy. Um, you can find her email address <laughs> on, her on our website. website. <laughs> <laughs> She's got them all. I've never heard of that, and I love it. Yeah, so a is someone who just consumes less meat. Wow. I think I kind of sighed because I'm like, you oh, have to, there's, right? there's so many. You kind of have to, but also it's really easy not to. I'm, I'm very excited about a journey with you. Thank you for listening to Green Rapids. Peace.